Hi everybody, it's Jody Cordell from JodyCordell.com and today I want to talk to you about something really important that um, I just kind of relearned this morning. I was finishing up my book, The Magic of Thinking Big, and it's a wonderful book by the way. It's the second time I've actually read it and I learned new things this time as I went through it. So uh, if you've never read that book, it's a really great book to uh, read, so I highly encourage you to go pick it up. I'm standing out here in front of my house today, so I got my beautiful palm tree out here, and um, it's a beautiful day, so I just had to get outside. But what I wanted to tell you today was something that came up at the end of the book about um, when you're stuck on a problem and the magic power that we have in our brains that we just don't realize that we have. Most of us these days especially spend most of our time entertaining ourselves, we have our earbuds in, we're listening to music, we're watching videos, we're playing on Facebook. So we don't give ourselves enough downtime to really use our full brain power. And um, one thing that I learned today was something that I learned a long time ago and almost forgot. And I was really glad to be reminded of it today. Something, I, I don't know if you guys have ever had this happen to you before, but uh, something I used to do is every weekend I would clean my house from top to bottom because I really like to start my week in a nice clean house. I don't feel relaxed unless I'm in a nice clean house. So I learned somewhere along the way that I need to carry around with me in a pocket or something uh, a, a notepad and a paper, a, a notepad and a pen, uh, because sometimes while I'm vacuuming or scrubbing the toilet bowl or the bathtub or washing dishes or doing the laundry, I get some of my very best ideas for whatever. Uh, sometimes it's for a blog post. Sometimes I have like a problem I'm trying to work through and trying to figure out how to solve the problem. And I get some wonderful ideas of how to do that while I'm doing something that's a mindless chore. And there's, there's actual science behind this. If you give your brain some time to process, it will actually find solutions for you. If, while I was reading the book, uh, the, the Magic of Thinking Big, uh, it talked about some of the habits of very successful people. And I read this in the Miracle Morning for Network Marketers as well. If, if you look at the, the people who are the most successful in the world, almost all of them spend time every day, at least 30 minutes of their day, sitting in either silence or in meditation or doing some kind of a, a yoga or something along those lines in order to give their brain time to think and process through things. And if you have a specific problem, your brain will sit and work on that particular problem. And if you don't have a specific problem in mind, it will actually go through your closet in your brain and pick out a few things and give you some great ideas about what you can do with this or what you can do with that or how you can use this or here's a great idea for a blog post. So um, as you're going throughout your day, remember that your brain is a wonderful, wonderful tool that you should be able to tap into on a regular basis. So spend time with your brain every day. Go do the laundry, go do some vacuuming. If you've got a problem to work through and you're stuck or you're getting frustrated, the best thing to do is just stop. Just stop, take a break. Um, have a cup of tea and sit in quiet for 30 minutes and just let your brain wander and or get up and do the dishes or go do some vacuuming and pretty soon your brain will figure out a way to solve your problem for you. So I hope that tip helps you out today and that you put it to good use and I will see you here right here on my Facebook page uh, in the near future. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.